Yeah, it was uh, on a personal level a pretty good season for me. Uh, you know, scoring back to back 40 goals. Uh, you know, I hasn't been a lot in the OHL, and that's something uh, I'm definitely proud of. Yeah, the coaches and the teammates, you know, the coaches were putting me in the situation and guys, you know, uh, for passing me the puck or, you know, finishing when I give it to them and just uh, helping each other out as a whole. It's definitely a good honor, you know, to get recognized in the community. Uh, Windsor Essex County is definitely a, a hot spot for junior hockey players, to, so uh, to be uh, named uh, the top one in the, in the county in the Windsor, it's definitely something exciting. It's going to be an exciting time for sure. It's something I definitely look forward to my whole life. Uh, you know, it's uh, what every kid growing up in Canada dreams of, you draft in the NHL. So it's going to be definitely an exciting time for me and my family. And obviously you want to get drafted as high as you can. And I think you have a realistic chance to get drafted in the first round. So, But you never know what can happen, so we're just going to have to wait and see. Oh uh, yeah, it's going to be an exciting time for him too. You know, he's kind of brought me up and taught me a lot of things. So. Uh, you know, it's going to be an exciting time for me, him, and, and the rest of my family for sure. The training speaks for itself. I mean, you, you definitely work hard in the summers and in the winters uh, in the gym and on the ice. But I think it's definitely important to get out in the community too and, uh, you know, help out the younger kids and, and help out the less, less uh, privileged children and, and just kind of be there for them and be a good role model in the community. Well, this year I started a program called, uh, well, with uh, Nobby's kids that will help donate uh, equipment to less fortunate kids so they can play hockey. And, you know, I think that's, that's some, definitely something that I'm proud of. And just going to, you know, whether it's school or hospital visits, you know, going and uh, work with the little kids and put a smile on their face, that's uh, definitely exciting. Definitely next year it's going to be, uh, you know, a bunch of guys last year uh, in the league and then hopefully move on after that. But. Um, you know, we're all going to be pretty hungry, you know, to, to try to win the championship next year after two kind of disappointing years. And you now I think it's time to turn the page and all the boys are going to be pretty focused going into next year for sure.